girl face. From hundreds of thousands to just four, and after tonight, just three will be vying for that idol crown. Now, I thought the elimination of Michael Johns was surprising, but nothing could compare us for the results that sent Carly Smithson home. Well, idols lost is our game. Please give it up for Carly Smithson, guys. Welcome. Okay, so all of us were like falling out of our chairs and couldn't breathe for about five minutes after you got voted off. Were you surprised? Um, I think, um, I don't think I was. I, I made top six and from after Michael Johns went home, we all kind of thought that we were not safe every week. Right. So I think um, from from that point on, nobody was really surprised about anything that happened on the show. So yeah. Now they've been harping a lot about song choices here. Do you think that it was your song choice that sent you home? Um, I have no idea. I love that song. I think it's great. And um, you know, the I was originally supposed to sing "All I Ask of You" from Phantom of the Opera, and it was actually Andrew Lloyd Webber that uh, suggested I change my song. Interesting. And, uh, you know, I, I had thought about that song the night before, and I, I never, um, I never knew that he had been told that I was thinking about the other song. So, uh, uh, yeah, it was actually quite darn on the it, spot, Andrew. Yeah, it was quite on the spot. He's like, "Well, I want to hear the other song," and I didn't really know it. I was like, "Okay." Um, so I gave him like a little bit of it, and uh, he loved it. And then he's like, "Well, all I ask of you is now banned off yeah. the list. It's not you're not allowed to sing." I was like, "But um, fortunately, I do love the other song." So it yeah. was. Uh, I think it was a blessing that he changed the song. I, I really enjoyed it and whether it sent me home or not I had a great time. So. You went out with a bang, that's bangs. for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. So in you know, in this experience, through everything, what do you miss the most now being off the show? I miss my friends. Mm. Um, yeah, definitely. I miss uh, I miss group performances. <laughs> no, oh, yes, yeah. Really? Day. Wow. Yeah, I used to love it. I don't know why. It was like wow. we'd wake up on a Wednesday. I guess you guys so didn't really cheeky. like it. Yeah, well. It was just corny, and it, it really is. And it was fun. And we would, you know, you wake up on a Wednesday and you do your choreography in the morning, and yeah. it was um, it was a way to uh, forget about the badness that was going to happen right. in the in the end of the day. And it was just yeah. a chance for us all to be r ridiculously goofy. And I loved it. Good, clean, yes, fun. I Great. loved Good it. Good for the family. Now, people know and love your tattoos, right? What's yes, your inspiration Dan. behind behind your tattoos there? And did you dress did you dress accordingly on the show you to know, kind of show them off? I had been asked, you know, if I was trying to, you know, kind of put it out there. But honestly, I forget it's there half the time. Sure. I forget I have like a lot of tattoos, yeah. and I I forget about half of them until people walk up and go, "Oh, I like that." I'm like, oh, I forgot oh, that yeah, was there. That is pretty cool. actually. Um, but yeah, I I just picked out whatever dress or outfit that I liked and put it on and. I don't know whether well, it had a sleeve or awesome. not. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on this and also on the tour, which oh, yeah. we'll talk about later. Yeah, this, this All right, Carly. Well, we need your insight. Let's take it to the idol stage where last night the four remaining finalists chose two songs from Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. First up, Saisha gets conflicting reviews from Randy and Simon singing Tina Turner's Proud Mary. Aisha finally in the last couple weeks has really been sassy and entertaining and like being such an amazing performer. Well, me and Saisha were actually roommates. We shared the same room and um, after I think just before Mariah Carey week, the two of us kind of like sat down and uh, we actually discussed that um, we kind of felt that our personalities weren't coming through on the camera because Saisha has a big personality and I, I do believe that we're just getting used to the cameras. I know we've been here a long time, but um, having a camera, you know, right here while you're trying to perform, it's kind of weird. And, um, you know, we actually, on Andrew Lloyd Webber week, we both changed our songs. She was actually singing a slower song too. And um, then when Andrew Lloyd Webber changed my song, you know, she had actually just changed hers, I believe, the night before to uh, One Rock and Roll. So it's a little bit more up-tempo. And That's so I intense. just think she's exploding now. And she's she looks amazing. gorgeous. Yes. Stunning. Easily, stunning. Yes. Yes. I mean, absolutely stunning last ridiculous. night. Yeah. Both so, of them. Yeah. No. All right, so for song two, Saisha got a standing ovation from Paula and Carly right here when she sang A Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. It was lovely. Check it out. In a little tent No, just like the river I've been running now, besides the fact that it was a beautiful song, it was a very emotional moment for her, she said that she did a lot of 
research about the song. Now, did you find that you did any research on your songs, and did that help you connect to your songs? You know, each week I actually, I pretty much knew the song that I was singing. You know, I'd known it from the past. Um, you know, obviously everybody can't sing the same song, so, you know, there was, there was you know, picking going on, but I, um, every song that I actually ended up with and got, I, I knew it from past. So, That's yeah, it, it, it is nice to really know your song and, so and be able to, um, <laughs> yeah, to connect with it. Exact thing. But it how great. comfortable did she look last night? Gorgeous! Very, That's what I'm loving, getting very, very used to yeah. everything and the surroundings, so and she's just going to get better. Outstanding vocally. Absolutely uh -huh. outstanding. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, girls, let's take it to Rosanna Tavares, who's hanging out with the fans. Rosie, I, thank you so much, Rosie. Now, stay with us. We'll be right back with more behind-the-scenes stories from the lovely Kali Smithson right there. Plus, we're putting David Archer let in the hot seat as we continue our look at Tuesday night's performances. And later, Idol Tonight has got the goods on some never-before-seen Idol footage that you won't see anywhere else, not even on American Idol. So keep it here. We're going to be right back, guys. Bye. We got some David Archuleta fans in the audience. Isn't that right, Miss Kim? Yes, I found the only other girl in the audience named Kim with blonde hair. <laughs> Hook it up. Okay, so why do we love David Archuleta? He gave me chills. Um, he's just so talented, and everything that comes out of his voice is so pure, and he really connects with his audience, and just at his age, he's so talented. And he's, like, so sexy. <laughs> I'll get back to you guys. Just kidding. <laughs> Kim, he's under age. Hello. Okay, oh. yeah. season's most memorable finalist. She was in the audience last night. Carly Smithson. Hello. Hello. Carly Hello. Smithson is here, guys. That's what I thought. All right, so who do you keep in touch with, uh, the other um, contestants? I keep in touch probably with uh, Amanda and Michael Johns, the ones that, you know, voted off, and then the people still on the show, probably David Cook. Is, uh, that's one of my friends. So. Excellent, excellent. Now tell me, what would you have performed this week? Uh, you said during the break that you had your list all planned out. Yeah, well, we actually got, like, the, the information on what this week was about, I think, like, like the a week month before. Ago. <laughs> a year or two Well, ago. no, I think, like, the week before I left. So um, I was actually going to do Bridge Over to Our Water, and, um, and I was probably going to do Bohemian Rhapsody, too. Oh, Simon oh, and Garfunkel and Queen? So good. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Maybe the finale. Maybe, 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 yeah. maybe on the tour. Maybe on the tour. Maybe on the tour. I want to hear you sing that. I want to hear you sing All right, let's go down to Rosie, who's standing by with a couple of big Carly fans. What's up? Yes. She is absolutely adorable and very likable. What did you like, like the most about being with Brooke for the last couple of months? Um, you know, uh, I think the funniest thing that she she does is she has uh, this big keyboard. It's like an old piano keyboard, old but school. she plays it with her headphones on. <laughs> and uh, myself and Saeed should be in our bedroom like, what is that? And you'd hear like, click, 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 click. <laughs> she was on that piano like all the time practicing. Wow. It was really funny. But you come out into the living room and she'd be like, <laughs> but there's oh, no sound because she had her headphones on. That's hysterical. Yeah, she, well, she, so she was really funny, and she would actually listen to Mariah Carey in the morning, um, in her towel, and like dance all around the apartment. Like you would never She's think for quite a wow. people that. I'm yeah. sure it was really funny. <laughs> we are getting the scoop now. Oh, yeah. Of course, you're going to be back with us, Carly, and you'll be joining Brooke on the American Idol tour as well, kicking off this summer. I cannot wait. Now, let's stay tuned. The best kept backstage Idol secrets are revealed next, only on Idol tonight. We'll be back. Happy go lucky yeah. guys. Someone else is happy go lucky, Miss Kim Caldwell. She's mingling with the fans. Kim, what's going on? Happy go lucky me. You know me, guys. I'm here with Celeste, and she loves Jason Castro. So, why are you rooting for Jason? Um, not only is he the most gorgeous contestant ever on American Idol, <laughs> but he just has the most beautiful voice, and he's so genuine with everything. I just think he's amazing. We love you, Jason. Back to you guys. All like, right. ever in the world. Yes, totally. Thank you, Kim. But right now, let's check it with Kimberly, who's chilling with the fans. What's going on, Kim? Well, hello. I'm here with my girls from Alabama. Um, so what question do you have for the contestants? What do you miss most from home? Personally, I think she's an undercover singer. Carly, thank you so much for dropping by today. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching us each and every week. We'll be back next Wednesday night with Brooke White and more Idol fun. Also be sure to get J.D., Roberto, Gina Glasson, and Constantine Marulis for American Idol Extra every Thursday night on Fox Reality Channel for all the post-show excitement.